Have you ever designed a YouTube thumbnail and you got finished and someone told you the text is just too thin? I can't read it. It would be better if it was a bolder font. So you go back into Canva to bold that font and the bold option is blocked off. You can't bold that font. Today, we're going to go over how to solve that within Canva and this tip is absolutely free. And if you stay through, you're going to see why that this technique is important for signatures that you might be using on different designs too. We're going to start at the very beginning because you may not know how to add text to a design within Canva first. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways. So bear with me and then we'll go through the text effect. Because if you don't know how to do the first part, you're going to be lost when it comes to the second part. The very first way you can add text to a design is just by typing T on your keyboard. For this font, you actually can bold it. The bold option is available. So I'm going to go ahead and click the bold option. This is what the first one looks like. This is what the second one looks like. You may want it to be a little bit bolder than that, or you may want it to be not as bold as that. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute, but I want to show you two other tricks to get text on your project. The first little trick is over on the left hand side, there is a panel box. And if you have Canva Pro, you can add a heading, add a subheading, add a little body of text, or you can even click add a text box and one will pop up for you. The other way would be to add different fonts to your brand hub. I've got fonts right here in my brand hub. Click see all. And then I've got four different things right here within my brand hub, but I can actually add more to it if I like. If you want to know a little more about Brand Hub, I will leave a link in the description box below. Let's talk about that text effect. What you're going to do is click on effects and then you're going to click on the one that says outline. Now this is going to come up with a color. You're going to need to click this color so that you can make some adjustments. You're also going to want to adjust the thickness of it as well, but we're going to change the color first. Click the color and then you're going to change it to the same color as your text. And this automatically makes your font bolder. You can customize it by adjusting the thickness so that it's just a little bit thicker. You're going to notice the thicker you go, it's not legible. So you really do want to make sure that the thickness you choose is legible for your thumbnails. But it really does make a huge difference when you are designing your thumbnails just by using this. It sort of takes on the shape of your font. And so each font is going to look a little bit different. Let's go back to the first page so I can show you all four fonts with this outline because three of them actually don't have the bold option at all. I'm going to click the font and then I'm going to type in satisfy so that I can get that font result and it changes it right there. When I click on to satisfy, there is no bold option. A big, huge red, like no, pops up, but I'm going to make it thicker. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate so that you can see the difference. We're going to click effects. We'll click the color and change it to the color of the background. Now this one is a little thick. So we're going to reduce the thickness so that we can read satisfy better. Now, the one on the left has no effect. The one on the right has the bolder outline effect. OK, so let's look at League Spartan now. I'm going to type in League. Here's League Spartan. Now, League Spartan is actually it's already pretty bold, but I just wanted to show you that you can make a bold font even bolder because League Spartan is one that you can't make bolder with the bold feature in Canva. So we'll do the same thing. Effects, outline, we'll change the color, and then we can change the thickness 
So in this case, I used 11 as the thickness. It made it a little bit thicker. I'm going to show you another cool trick that you can do by actually bumping up the thickness a lot. And again, you're going to notice that you cannot bold this font, but we're going to click effects. We're going to click outline. We'll change the color to the one that it should be the same color. If I were doing this normally, I would probably take it down to like an eight or a nine. However, I want to show you a cool effect. We're going to go ahead and make it as big as it will go. And then we are going to duplicate it. And what we're going to do with this is actually change the color from black to white. We're going to change the effect from outline to hollow and reduce the thickness. It will go right on top and it just gives it kind of a cool effect. Now, League Gothic may not be the perfect font to do this with, but I've tried it on several fonts and it just gives it a nice different look. You might not want this on your thumbnails. You might want this on like social media posts or something like that. It's still a pretty cool look. Now let's move on to the thumbnail that has fonts on it that we can't bold. And I'm going to show you what the difference is when we add the outline function. Effects, outline, change the color. We'll change it to black and we'll change the thickness a little bit. It just makes it a little bit bolder, which makes it a little bit easier to read. Now, when you are doing this with multiple text boxes, you want to see what your thickness is. So for me, this is 27. I want to do this one the same way. Outline, same color. And we will just go ahead and type this in, 27. And that looks fantastic. Now look at her signature here. Her signature is in Brilliant Signature. And this can really change the way a signature looks by using this effect. Watch this. Effects, outline. We're going to change it to the same color. And there you go. This one we might want to make a little bit thinner. But look at the, I mean, like, that's pretty good. That's a much better signature if you're going to use a signature within a design than the skinnier line of the calligraphy font. Really pay attention to that when you are making designs and see if you can use the outline feature to complement what you're doing. You might wonder if you can use videos that's within Canva for your YouTube channel. I answer that question in this video right here. What do you think about my new camera? I mean, I'm not as fuzzy, I don't think. All right, see you next time. Bye.